Hello, my name is Chris. I've worked years to get to this point. To build my reputation. To call myself a photographer. My special skill is framing things we can't see with our own eyes. It's over in the blink of an eye. With an ordinary camera and the iron will to succeed, I will do everything I can to get the perfect picture. So this is my challenge. This is the high speed challenge. Hello and welcome to episode number seven of the High Speed Challenge. Now, last time it was pretty brutal. We had like gunshots and exploding glass in a protective box. And well, that's why I thought maybe we should be a bit quieter and more peaceful. So let's get wet because this episode is called Water and Stuffs. And in fact, if you want to know how to cut a paprika very efficiently with very little waste, stay tuned until the end, I'll show you how. Now, for this episode, as you can see here, I have an aquarium and the challenge is completed when I have a perfect picture of the vegetable underwater with a lot of um, oxygen bubbles around them. And um, because this time we don't have gunshots and we don't have exploding glasses in the box, what can we actually use to trigger the flashes? set over the fish tank and it basically does just one thing when the laser beam uh, gets broken um, the sensor will actually know and after a specific delay time that I will set uh, it will fire the flashes and freeze the action but the question as always is will I frame it
Did I frame it? I think so, and you can too. So, let's cut the paprika fast and easy. So this is cutting the paprika the right way. First, cut off the shrink. Then, cut down the sides of the paprika like so. Do that for every side of the paprika. At the end, you will be left with just the core of the paprika. That's the only thing, including the shrink, that you have to throw away. Have fun and bon appétit.